So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in that help the system go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And the heater elements also also monitor the catalytic converter. And so these sensors are seeing that the catalytic converter dropped below a 95% efficiency. And so it's reporting this back to the onboard computer. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be an exhaust leak, could be a bad sensor, could be a bad catalytic converter. And it's also possible that there's an engine problem, like a faulty fuel injector or something like that. Because for example, if there's like a leaky injector, then it can be clogging up that catalytic converter and just causing an issue. But usually if there's an engine problem, you're gonna be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're gonna have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one, and that's the side that's having the issue. If you have a four-cylinder, then it won't matter. And it can be a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located and the catalytic converters and things like this. It could just make things easier. For example, here's a 2007 Ford F-150 with the 4.6 liter. And as you can see, bank one is right here, and it's going to have 202 sensors and the catalytic converter. And so once you locate the bank one O2 sensors and catalytic converter, there's two ways you go about doing this. You could test the O2 sensors and see if they failed, or you could test the catalytic converter and see if it's failed. There's some different ways you go about testing the heater element inside the O2 sensors. I made a video on that. I'll put a link down in the description if you need to check that out. There's also some different methods on how you go about testing the catalytic converter. Quite often when a catalytic converter fails, the vehicle won't have as much power as it once did. So if you're driving the vehicle around and it doesn't have as much power as it once did, then that's a sign that it's clogged up and the engine's having to work extra hard to pump the air out the exhaust. So there's some different methods to check to see if that's the problem. Some mechanics will bust loose the bolts right in front of the catalytic converter so that the air can escape easier. They'll open it up like a quarter inch or so and then they'll drive the vehicle around the block to see if it has more power because then they'll know if the catalytic converter is clogged up. Another method is you can use the infrared thermometer and you measure the heat before the catalytic converter and after the catalytic converter. And if it's all clogged up, then it's going to be hotter before the catalytic converter than after. Because normally it should be hotter after the converter, but when they get clogged up, all that heat's going to build up in the front of it. So it can be hotter in front of it, and that's a sign that it's failing. I made a video on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But that's another method to test the catalytic converter. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.